Hey everybody, it's Mucha Marapa from Matrix Global Media and as part of Nurse a Better List where we're talking about uh, how you can really maximize that relationship that you have with your list because so often we hear the money is in the list, the money is in the list and while that is absolutely correct when we start looking at it and, and, and pulling that saying and that thought uh, apart a little bit it's actually all about the relationship that we cultivate in that list okay and uh, I like to use that term we've really got to nurse the better list we've got to nurse that relationship so what I wanted to do was just show you uh, several case examples of um, areas where um, we could do uh, we could adopt some, some some things that work well some things that maybe could work a little bit better now what I've got here is an email from the FJB collection and um, they're a hotel based here in the UK. Uh, I haven't stayed there, I'm, I'm, I'm not sort of employed by them, I don't advise them professionally or otherwise, um, but I'm just a real student of, 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 of what organizations do to try and sort of improve their marketing and as always the first place to start is to actually congratulate them for having put some email marketing in place now you know you, particularly in travel and tourism it just amazes me how many organizations don't do that but what I wanted to do was just narrow down on a newsletter now first of all you know we start with the subject uh, that was in my inbox so if we just back up a little bit there we would have just seen it once again and you look at it at the top here it says discover what we have to offer over the festive season now does that really sort of pop out at somebody you know uh, again these are the things that you want to sort of really look at and decide yourselves okay but anytime you've got a header with it's actually sort of really direct or something that makes you go wow because I manage my email inbox probably better than uh, certainly 90% of people out there so as a result I don't always have a lot of emails but if you're sort of like most people or more important if the target audience of FJB uh, hotels is like most people they're gonna get you know dare I say it, hundreds of emails each week and they just want to make sure that their uh, header that, you know in the the subject header sort of pops out a little bit to them alright now what I like about this are several things it's called the FJB Gazette I'm a firm believer on actually creating a newsletter okay um, in one of my email teachings um, I talk about the, the fact that you know in addition to follow-ups and broadcasts you need to have a newsletter itself because it sort of just gives you that cozy uh, feeling about an organization when they put news in that newsletter so I'm totally cool I like the idea of FJB Gazette more than news okay and now as we move down this is where I feel uh, there could be some work done only because I'm g being given far too many options I think which could easily be taken care of by segmenting the list a little further so this is what I mean you look here you see winter collection okay and it says it's that time of year again uh, with a chill in the air and the distant jingle of bells discover what we have to offer over the festive season that's all good all very fine okay now this is where it's a little bit sort of it's it loses a little bit of congruence okay just sort of on this side because here it says hey our website our new websites up tell us what you think and there's a link to click on there okay the big day is now less than two weeks away discover our harmony spa so this is about the spa relative to Christmas and the festive season totally cool about that there's a link there no arguments whatsoever they're talking about a wedding fair taking place in early January click on for that link New Year's Eve click on for that link so in effect what I'm saying is that I think there's just too much going on in this email and as a result they won't necessarily get the maximum uh, potentially out of, 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 of you know what they could possibly get now let's just say for argument's sake and yeah, this goes to a thousand people okay so what are the people going to click now you're exactly if you're thinking as I do someone might click all four of them that's absolutely fine but what I like to see more is just breaking these down particularly when we start talking about New Year's Eve and we're talking about weddings okay and we're talking about spa 
OK. Now, very interesting, if I was advising on this situation, and again, I'm just sort of doing this just so you get thinking yourself and you say, OK, how can I do this for my own product? If you are advising others, which is always uh, a very significant thing to do, you're going in as a trusted advisor. Um, I would actually go along the lines of, you know, you click on the page here. This takes you to the website itself and a very nice put together website no complaints there and all the rest of it again very busy alright I'm not seeing enough direct uh, response here per se but what I would have probably done here if it said uh, take a look and tell us what you think you know, why not offer an incentive you know why not say something like you know post a comment on Facebook and we'll pick the best winner to win something or something else. You know, get somebody to do something because I just feel that if they click on to here and they take a look here, what are you asking them to judge it on? You know, because you're straight here with the pricing and the bookings and so on and so forth. Talks about the collection. Interestingly enough, and by the way, the, the collection of their hotels look absolutely fantastic. They really, really do. As we move further down here, you can see right at the very bottom here is the newsletter tab. And I just, it, it just really baffles me how something so significant as getting an email, someone interested, can quote unquote be sort of hidden at the very bottom of the page. This is where on the home page, you know, you really should have something that says along the lines of, you know, uh, we've got a monthly draw, you know, win a free weekend here, something else like that. You've just got to get those emails. But taking things a little bit further, when you do actually come to the subscribe to our newsletter page they do ask what things are you interested in and I know for a fact that I clicked on all of them so this is possibly why I got that generic um, uh, email sent to me but where I think the magic would lie is that if they created landing pages for each of these alright just so so spar and leisure or at least on the spar and leisure page and I'm not going to go into it too much here because I want to try and keep this relatively short. There is an opt-in just relative to Spar and Leisure. Nothing else, just Spar and Leisure. So you go to the Spar and Leisure page and it says sign up here to receive more Spar and Leisure specials or something else like that. Because then it would avoid the situation where you get an email that's just sort of saying too many things to too many different people. You know another thing that I noticed on this page which does give them an opportunity because you know we, we look at the the sort of the images and the clickable images and, and this is again something that a lot of organizations both in travel and tourism and outside do I think sometimes just having a, a, a quote unquote normal email almost like one you'll send to your friend you know with just your text and maybe a link that works very well and in the situation here it's not like they don't have so much information you look at this things to do they've, they've done very very well in putting a lot of content on this site okay and if you look at this then okay things to do and I'm just gonna go pull and I'll click through to that page so look here things to do in pool okay so it's got some uh, information about pool that it's a co coastal town a shopping center all these different places now they're giving a lot of love to the local sort of museum and pottery uh, shopping center arts and craft place and stuff which is great and without too much difficulty they could probably go over there and get a shopping voucher for 50 pounds or something so again you know sign up here to get the shopping voucher then they know what they're interested in and more importantly with things to do in pool this could be half a dozen emails sent over the course of three months just to say things to do pool and then there's a little bit of uh, chit chat about what you can do in pool the dolphin shopping center la di da di da and it says um, submit your email address here uh, to, to, to win a shopping voucher or something else like that so all I'm saying is that in effect as opposed to it just being sort of click and, and not a whole lot of anything else why not make the emails more chatty because there is so much that they can do there's so much that they can talk about here as well so I hope that's helped I really like to break these things down I get very very analytical about them because you know the the, the hard work has been done by getting somebody like myself to actually go and submit my email address so all I'm saying is that as you want to nurse that relationship with the person who has signed up learn more about them and if you don't have the mechanism in place because I most definitely 
checked the boxes that I was interested in. Now, uh, there's some software which will allow you to tag this, meaning someone clicks on local events, they'll just get a stream of local events emails. Someone talks about the Water Sports Academy, they just get the Water Sports Academy. Because don't forget, if I get too many of these, the likelihood is I would unsubscribe. Not because I'm necessarily not interested, but it's just it's just stuff it's just fluff here so the more lists within a list that you have the better you'll be so deep detailed I know but I hope this has helped I just really want you to get into that mindset of you know there is a science to e email marketing and I just really believe that, that, that those people who say well email marketing it's not the same anymore and there are other ways to do it you know that was then we've got to focus on the here and now I think they're missing a huge huge trick there is nothing other than a, 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 a phone and sending text messages to somebody's mobile phone. There is no other uh, more intimate way that you can market with someone than in their email box. But they treat it in, in quite a sacred way. So you've got to make sure that any time that you are emailing them, contacting them, send them information, you've got really relevant stuff that moves that relationship along, that really nurses that trust that they've put in you. And you'll see some really great things happen. So I hope that's helped. Uh, look forward to your thoughts. Please post your comments. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know how your own email strategy is going or the strategy for clients. And uh, in the meantime, uh, go out there. Just do, do your best with this email marketing. Really nurse that relationship. Nurse that list. And I look forward to speaking to you again very, very soon.